and welcome back to the Talking Hands channel. Sorry, I'm laughing. My dog is being silly and asking for turkey. Anyway, pardon me. I do have a little bit of a cold that I'm fighting, but I did want to show a recipe for leftover turkey from your Thanksgiving dinners. We're going to do a mashup between enchilada and white chicken chili soup, but we're going to use turkey instead. I got a couple cups here chunked up. I have sour cream and cream cheese. Those don't go in until the end. You're going to want a cup of sour cream. And probably, I would do a brick, but I don't have any bricks of cream cheese. I only have the container of this stuff. But you do that towards the end because it will get like grainy, like little pebbles. So you don't want that. We're going to do six cups of chicken broth. I think... That's four, and honestly, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do four cups of that, and then two cups of water. Next thing we're going to do towards the end, apparently I'm doing this backwards. Don't mind me. Uh, some corn, you're going to drain that. That will go in towards the end because it's pretty much done. Uh, I have um, the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I'm going to do a couple cans of those. And because I like a variety of beans, I have cannellini beans, northern beans, and the chili beans. Chili beans, I'm not going to drink because they have flavor. They're like in a sauce. Chili sauce, is it's good. It will have flavor. The cannellini and uh, northern beans, those are going to be drained and rinsed. <clears throat> We're going to flavor our meats with some, uh, if you watch my channel, obviously some garlic and onion and salt and pepper, but for more of a chili flavor, some cayenne pepper, I probably do like a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika, salt and pepper to taste, and at the end, I'm going to add... Uh, a little different something or another to give it a nutty flavor. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what the secret ingredient is. But I'm going to get started by throwing my turkey in a stock pot. And then I'm going to mix up all my flavorings. Flavor my meat. Got to flavor the meat. Get that going and then I'll check back with you. Thanks for staying tuned. So we're just like warming up our chicken and we're gonna add some flavoring. I measured it out and I checked myself and I am I'm good at measuring one teaspoon. But we're going to um, do some salt. I have Himalayan salt here and it's gonna be probably a half a teaspoon. I don't want it too salty because all the uh, canned stuff has salt in it then a little bit of black pepper then we're going to do our teaspoon of paprika paprika cumin teaspoon of cumin sorry cumin half a teaspoon of white pepper and then it's a little more than a half teaspoon of cayenne. But we're adding sour cream and stuff and that's going to mellow out some of the flavors. But I'm just going to get this going. If I can figure out how to camera. Do camera. Do the camera. And stir it around. But I'm just trying to warm it up and get the extra flavor put in there. And the next step will be uh, chicken stock. Maybe I maybe I want some some crisp on my turkey. You know, extra flavor. Nothing wrong with the extra flavor. The flavor in the brown. Remember that. But let me let this go, and then and then <laughs> don't play a drinking game. I swear, you'll be drunk by the end of this. Onion powder. Well, I like granulated onion, but I accidentally got onion powder. And 
Garlic! It's gonna have garlic. If it will come out. Garlic! Garlic! Uh, garlic, listen to me. Come out. Okay. Sprinkle. Doesn't work. I'm trying to get the top off the other side. And... A little bit of garlic. Alright. I have flavor on the meat. Let's add in the, um... Tomatoes and paint. The tomatoes aren't drained because I want the juice. Tomatoes with chilies. I'm doing two cans. Cannellini beans. They're creamy. They're white kidney beans. Drained. I didn't rinse them because I wanted some of the liquor from the can. Help thicken up the sauce. And the and the Great Northern beans. I love these beans. Drained. Dumped in. I was going to rinse them and I was like, nah, I kind of want it thicker. So, dump those guys in. For leftover Thanksgiving turkey or Christmas turkey. Let me get the uh, chili flavored beans. These are the chili beans and a chili sauce. And I left. All that in because the sauce is a flavorful and more flavor why not get it where you can my friend. stir this around and then and then I need to find another word oh my gosh if you can if you can think of another word besides and then and I can practice that please put it in the comments below okay <laughs> Next, next step, chicken broth. This is a quart, 32 ounces. Dump it in, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna fill this container with two, about two cups of water. So it'll be like half, half the box, because this should be four cups. If I can, Get out of there. Get out of there, stock. You silly stock. Get out of there, silly stock. All right, let me go get it. All right, two cups of water in that thing. Squeeze her out. I'm so silly. Add, add in your enchilada sauce. We want flavor. Enchilada. I did green. You can use green or red. Whatever is your preference. Stir it around. And bring to a simmer. If you have black beans, black beans would be delicious in here. I can't find any black beans. I'm gonna put the lid. Oh, I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it simmer for 20 minutes, and then on to the next step. Oh my word! If I could remember stuff, I'm just going along with go with the flow. But I have some evaporated milk left over from um, making sweet potatoes. Because they make a sweet potato souffle or casserole, if you want to call it that. And I had some evaporated milk left, and I need to use it. So, guess what's going in there? Because I tasted the broth, and it is sure spicy. You like it spicy? But that will help with making it look more like a white chili. My next secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Not make. Anytime you make a white sauce, add nutmeg. It makes it, I don't know what it does, but it just makes it taste nutty and flavorful. Probably, I, I want to say like a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Just give it a little more nutty flavor. The cumin already does that. But it's been simmering away, so we're going to dump in our corn that's been drained. Like I said before, black... Oh, I'm missing corn. Get out, you silly corns. Come on, now. I'm going to let this simmer for probably after the evaporated milk, which was about... I want to say it was a cup and a half. Or you can use regular milk or heavy cream. 
I'm just using what I got. Gotta use up the leftovers, you know what I mean? And that's okay, we've been simmering away. Uh, after the corn and stuff, it's nice and bubbly. The chicken or turkey, because it's turkey. We're gonna pull it off the heat source and we're gonna add in. I got a little over a cup of sour cream. We're gonna dump that in. You wanna do it off the heat because it will get clumpy and aka. So, these. It froze. Half of it froze. But <clears throat> we're doing about a half a cup if I can get it off this thing. If you guys can patiently wait. It's like watching paint dry, right? We're going to put that in. Thicken it up. And it is a spicy turkey chili. But I'm going to get the rest of this off because obviously it's not coming off. And I have, I have one hand on the camera and one hand on I'm using. But we're going to get this in, stir it around, put it back on the heat for a little bit and warm it through. Get all the cheese and sour cream kind of melted and, and merry melody. And then, and then on to the next step. <laughs> And here's what you've been waiting for, the finished product. So it's a mashup between white chicken chili and enchilada soup. It does have a soup consistency, 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 say that 10 times fast. Have a <clears throat> soup and chili consistency, consistency. Why is that hard? For my, I think it's because I'm sick, but it's like a cross between. The longer you cook it, the thicker it will be. I will say this, though. I think some black beans would have been delicious and gave it some more color in here. I like my colors. But I dished up the bowl with a dollop of sour cream, some cheddar cheese, a little bit of uh, bacon. If You don't have to put bacon on there. It's just a suggestion. And then some tortilla chips. Or you can use uh, your basic saltine crackers. It's up to you. I will say it is a spicy chili soup. But it's a good mashup between enchilada soup and white chicken chili. Hope you try this recipe. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.